back to my channel. This week I'm bringing you a food tour through Orange County, California. But before you get started, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up so that way we can keep on growing. Now, today I'm actually going on a road trip from Los Angeles to San Diego. And what's in between them? Orange County. So I'm not getting oranges today, but I am getting a lot of great food. So let's head out. Okay, so we are at our first stop, Home Depot. Just kidding, we're actually going to LJ's Little Cafe, which is apparently connected to Home Depot. Supposedly they have great burritos. So let's check it out. Oh my God. That looks insane. <laughs> this, this looks insane. I'm very excited. So we just got their OG burrito. They have a couple other ones, like a queso burrito, which would look very interesting. And I already feel like I might have to come back and try next time. But this has tater tots, cheese, egg, Portuguese sausage, bake, oh, bacon as well. Um, and then we got some mild salsa as well as some spicy salsa. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a taste. It's got like a nice, I'm very excited. <laughs> oh my crap. Okay, so I've never had, I don't know if I've had Portuguese sausage before in general, but it's giving me very much like a very ham taste. And I feel like all of the crunch and the flavor and the fat and everything kind of just melting together just complements each other so well. And I don't know if other people have this problem, but sometimes with breakfast burritos, I feel like it becomes just like one blob. Like there's not enough texture. There's a lot of like melty or fatty ingredients. There is so much texture in this burrito in the best kind of way and so much flavor from each of the elements. They all stand their ground. But we must, we must add some salsa and see what's up. Let's add a little bit of salsa. I feel like this is gonna go potentially poorly. All right, all right. This also adds a nice little fresh kick to it and it cuts through all of the fat. But again, the textures, the flavors, everything is delicious. So if you're between Los Angeles and San Diego or you wanna take a drive outside of Los Angeles, I feel like this is definitely worth it. Or if you happen to need to build a shelf while also eating a burrito, it's the perfect, it's the perfect combination. So we were also talking to the owner and they were telling us that this has been open for about a year or so, but before it used to be a hot dog stand. They don't even think it was too much of an establishment, but they purchased the building and now it's LJ's Little Cafe. So if you want a really, really good breakfast burrito, this might be one of my favorite that I've had in California, dare I say. So comment below if you got any other favorite breakfast burritos in California, cause I'm willing to be challenged. Although I don't know, I know we'll be back. That's all I gotta say. So our next stop is at a cafe and bakery that's actually been open since 1986 and we got some delicious looking goodies. So we're gonna start with the matcha uh, mochi bun. Oh my goodness. Look at this thing. Open it up. Oh. Oh, that's right. I think there's red bean inside too. Oh my God. Okay, let's give it a bite. Mm, 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 mm. It's all the textures and flavors of my dream. The mochi is extra chewy. The red bean is just perfectly sweet, but not too sweet. And then the matcha perfectly colors the outside of the bun that's nice and soft and chewy. This is number one, amazing. <laughs> but we have two more to try. So we got this vanilla uh, custard bun with the most adorable little bear on the front. I mean, come on, I almost don't want to eat it, but I'll open it up. <laughs> I feel like kind of bad because it looks so cute. Okay. Oh my gosh, look, you got the custard on the inside. Give it a try. Mmm, it's warm. Oh, that's so nice. That's a really good custard. And again, not too sweet. I am a big proponent of when things are like perfectly sweetened. It's got this nice hint of sugar and the bread is nice and airy and honestly could stand on its own. I feel like you could just eat the bread and you would still be happy. So number two, delicious. But we have one more to try, which is our strawberry custard croissant. Oh no, not custard, strawberry milk croissant. Okay. I mean, look how beautiful. All right, I feel like this is gonna be messy. So let's, let's see how this goes. It's flaky and creamy and sweet from the strawberries. I mean, yeah, if you couldn't guess, I like them all. So I would say so far we've had two stops and both have been amazing, but there's plenty more in store. So I am going to go have some of my delicious sweet treats and then we can head on to our next stop. So we're 
at our next stop, and the first two items that I got is a concha and a cafe de olla, which is like a cinnamon coffee and a sweet bread, and I've had neither of them before. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Mm. It's kind of like a, like a sugary topping, I think. It's delicious. Now let's give the coffee a taste. That's got a strong flavor of cinnamon. This is delicious. I am enjoying these. I'm gonna try dipping it in. I think that's okay. <laughs> Let's dip a little bit in. Amazing. We have one more thing on the way. Okay, we're gonna try chilaquiles. <laughs> really good. Really, really good. You can taste the crema and the queso fresco in here, and it tastes wonderful. Mmm, this is so good. I've never had this before, but it's eggs and queso fresco and cream, just delicious. And as you guys know, I love a good egg forward dish. So if you're interested in this, you should totally come here. Now, on to our next stop. Okay, so we just stopped to get some tea. They also had boba and milk tea and other things, so we decided to get one of their fresh fruit teas. So this is a tea called Four Seasons, which is a mix of oolong and jasmine. And then we got lemon in it as well, and then only 30% sugar. If you've never been to a tea shop like this before, a lot of times they ask you what level of sweetness you want. They recommended something a little higher, but I only like 30% or less usually. I usually like more unsweetened drinks. So I went with 30%, and now, Let's give it a taste. Okay. Wait a second. <laughs> this tastes like lemonade. <laughs> this is so good. Wow. If you ever wanted like a tea lemonade, this is definitely the drink for you. They also have frappes and cheese foams if that's something that you're interested in. And I saw a picture of like a matcha soft serve it looked like. So if you're in Orange County and you're looking for a sweet or unsweet refreshing drink, then this would be your spot. Okay, so now we're at a Hong Kong style dessert shop. So they have all of these mango goodies and it actually started in Hong Kong. So we got their mango crisp, which has graham crackers and mango. And what apparently these like little cubes here are ice cream. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> so this is like a vanilla ice cream covered in graham crackers. And the mango is just perfectly sweet and juicy. This is so good. They had so, so, so many mango desserts and many other items that I was dying to try, but I am in fact stuffed because this is actually our last stop of the day. I had a lot of fun just bopping around Orange County today and I guess we did get something that is kind of orange. Ah, it's yellow. <laughs> and so please let me know in the comments below what was your favorite stop that I went to today. If you have any other recommendations for Orange County, I'd love to come back and try more food here. However, I would say if you are only going to one place outside of Los Angeles or in the Orange County area, you must go to LJ's Little Cafe. It was so good. And you know, if you need to go to Home Depot, it's right there. You can take a burrito, you can walk around, and then maybe you've worked up an appetite to have something else on their menu because they also had a bunch of hot dogs because, as I said, it started as a hot dog stand. So they even had a little homage to what used to be there before they took it over about a year ago. So it was a really cool spot, as were all of the places that I stopped today. And if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up so that way you can keep on growing, and I will be sure to catch you next time. Bye! Appetiter. <laughs>